Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do like a minute or two of just making th sure everything is set up because I do have a company in uh, China that, that uh, does some of the editing of these videos. It makes them more, co more coherent because you guys can tell I jump around a lot. But I, I usually have uh, two or more, but uh, usually two or more themes that I kind of want to go through. And then I don't always get to them, but uh, I also like to answer your questions. And uh, um, oh, I forgot to shave today. Hey, George. <laughs> Uh, from New Jersey, yep. That's, uh, I was born in Parsippany. You probably may, may not have even heard of it. Uh, it was a tiny little town when I was born there, but I think now it's a pretty big suburb. But I don't really even know what town it's a suburb of. But I was there once, like 20, 30 years ago, and I didn't recognize it at all. I've been in China now for, I think, 13 days. Yeah, George, you were the first one to comment. Thank you, because then I know everything's working. Hi from Seattle. So anyway, we're gonna have a special guest today. And she's, uh, she's eating right now with Ross and Jay and Lynette. But um, she's eating a little bit of breakfast and then I'm gonna knock on the window. Megan, when I knock on the window, then you can come out. If you, you can bring your food with you too because we, like we like to eat on the live stream. So when you hear a big knock, come on out. Ross will explain to you the details. He's been there. He's an old pro. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go set up. Good morning. This is our friend. I'm on live stream. This is our friend from about three <laughs> hours away. I'm Stewart. Stewart. Oh, yeah. And he likes our show, so yeah. he uh, came down <laughs> to say hi to us. Oh, okay. You, you live stream? This is live, yes. Ah, ah okay. So oh. nice to see you. Good morning. Okay. So I'm going to grab. I have a little system now that I figured out. Um, and uh, so I hopefully someone said that they, they thought it was funny the other day when I was live streaming. Okay, it rained a little bit, so let me see if these you know they're wet, but guess what? The show must go on, so I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream from a wet chair. This is the driest. Okay. So I'll do my little setup. <laughs> Has it been two minutes? Yeah, three. So you know what? If I take five minutes to set up, that's okay too, right? Because uh, you guys can always skip forward if you're watching this later. And then for the people that are watching live, then have some fun with me and see behind the scenes how I set up everything. And you guys know that I'm new. So I think you guys are kind to me. And you, what we say in America, you cut me some slack. So thank you. And I forgot to bring out something. Oh, this, this actually, nope, this won't work. So I need something to kind of stick behind the phone. Let me try this. The, hmm, okay. I need this stuff. Uh, let me bring it forward a little bit more. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, I should have brought out some water. I didn't even bring coffee. That's okay. The show must go on. And you're worth it. <laughs> I know it's evening for a lot of you guys. Unless you're in China. And it's morning. And if it's in Australia... I think this will work because it's a tissue. I'm using some tissues, and those are flexible. So let's see how this looks. This works. Oh, okay. This works fine. So, but when I have my guest, I'll have to probably rearrange a little bit. Uh, you know what? And my guest you already saw is going to be Megan, and she's a ballerina, and. Uh, I think she's about 22 or 23 now and she yesterday was her first day in china and i don't know if it's because she's young or she's in super she has like zero body fat i don't or i don't know if it's because she's young yeah <laughs> my back doesn't hurt when i do this i try to save my back for walking because we do a lot of uh, walking in china 
and uh, it, it, I just feel more relaxed and I feel really like I'm talking to friends so I'm not putting on a big show you know <laughs> so but hopefully it's fun and I liked what one comment said well, like, hey Canada welcome yeah, I think this will work when Megan comes, so I can set up that little chair for her. Yesterday I interviewed Ross and he had to sit on the floor. Okay, my glasses are wet. Oh no, it's gonna go away. I like your song. And I didn't see what song it was. But I do go back and read your comments. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> or maybe I didn't read it right. San Francisco, hello. So I think uh, I think a lot of you same guys are, are, are joining, and I really like that. Um, uh, because then I kind of feel more familiar with you, but I like what, what someone commented. I can't remember if it was in the comments or during the live stream, but she said she felt like the birds, I know, I know, you guys are in, uh, appreciating and enjoying the same things that I do. Hello from Canada. Hey, Canada. So it's morning in the, all the way from uh, Canada down to Brazil. And then, no, no, it's evening there and it's morning here. It's, I think, about 8. And I'm streaming a little bit earlier today because at 9.30 we have to leave. We're going to go buy uh, a gift for Jay's mom and her husband. Hey, Alberta. And then... Uh, is Megan Ari's cousin? No. They actually, if you... I mean, she's probably on the cover or on a couple thumbnails, but if you go back to Jane Ari's videos of about a year ago, they actually met her, I think she was working in a coffee bar, a coffee shop. She's from Charleston, North Carolina. And then, you know, sometimes you meet people and you just kind of have a connection with them. So Jane Ari went to, Ari's always hunting for the best coffee. She is a coffee snob, by the way. I'm not. I love this coffee because it's fresh beans. Uh, yeah, I don't read Mandarin. And, uh, but, oh no, Megan doesn't either. But anyway, so they were just in a coffee shop and they started a conversation because uh, Jane and I are very, originally from London, now in Singapore, and worked in China for three years. That's cool. Uh, London and Singapore, the weather is 100% different. I've been to both places and I, I, let's just say I really liked Singapore. You know, one thing, and I mentioned this the other day, internet, London reminded me, of course it has, you know, it's, it's England, so it ha, it's different, but, but the people in, in America, well, no, international cities are a little bit uh, not, not as friendly, and probably because there's so many of them. Uh, okay, and then, oh, you're from North Carolina. Okay, so... Um, Anyway, Jane and Ari just went into a coffee shop and, and they started talking and they met and then uh, they became friends and I think uh, Jane and Ari invited her to come visit them. So so she came to Kansas City and we hung out. In fact, yeah, there's some at least two video, one or two videos of when she came to us. Yeah, morning from Singapore. Uh, and so it's... Uh, morning in Singapore and China, all the east, and then in Australia, it's uh, it's afternoon. Good day, mate. Or it's about, it's almost noon or, or after a little afternoon. Well, actually, does how many time zones does Australia have? Because I'm gonna guess it would have maybe three, but uh, China covers five time zones, but they have one standard time. Hey, from New York. Hey, Shanghai. Um, so I, I mean, I'm curious how many, and I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen anyone. Ah, Kuala, Kuala, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I've been there. And I think that's the town that had, it used to be the tallest uh, building in the world. Now it might be the second or third, but, oh, Australia has three time zones. I was just guessing by the size of it. Um, <laughs> But it's nice. That's one of the things that I love about these live streams. I can I can ask some a question and I can usually get an answer within like 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, well, okay. Jay is working all the time. And also she, the comment said Jay, I am more active than Jay. I think it's just because I do a live stream every day. It seems that way. 
Jay spends way more time editing and shooting videos and, and his are way more professional. Mine is just kind of like, I'm your goofy dad or something. I'm a, like an internet dad. <laughs> so I just do my little uh, live streams and have fun with my friends and ask questions and talk about stuff. And then I'd like to give you updates on behind the scenes stuff. So you ready for an update? <laughs> So you guys know if you watched a few of these live streams that our plans change every day. British town, French, Russian, and China. Yeah, I've heard that there's like some towns. Hey, LA. There's some towns in China that are kind of replicas of some places in different countries. Hey, Japan. Come to see the cherry blossoms. Yeah, I've been to Japan, I think, two or three times. And, and the cherry blossoms were blooming every time I was there. Sad, and, and it was beautiful. Uh, sadly, May May is not going to be able to come for the wedding. Uh, yes, well, you know what? I I don't know. Someone said, I, I look forward to your live stream on the train. I I think when we go like to Beijing, and I, I think we're taking the high-speed train. I don't know, because I know it's pretty far from where we're at now. But I know that Jane Ari flew to a couple places, so I don't know if we're going to fly or t take a train, but I hope we take the high-speed train because I got to lay down. I fell asleep the whole time. So if it's a long, I heard it's a longer train ride, even on the high-speed train, so I think I would have some time to, uh, you know, be awake and film a little bit, maybe do a live stream. But also, oh, let me ask you guys this. Uh, the view is, yeah, and the birds, right? Someone said the view is nice. Uh, oh, so can you guys read other people's comments? Uh, right now, I'm not in the same hotel as Bing Bing and Evan. We were in the same hotel. In fact, I finally... Oh, you guys can read the comments. Good. Okay, thank you. That's what I love. Um, so, uh, so I finally... I've been trying to upload this... I had like our first morning in China video and I had it edited and everything probably about four days after I was here and uh, uploaded, you know, the company that um, that has my internet platform and platforms in China. They also do the subtitles. So I'll take then. So I make the original edits and contents and they, they take it and they edit some more and they were adding some some music but it's it had copyright problems on youtube so i told him just take the music off off i, I can add some music of my own stuff because i own all the the copyrights to my own stuff and then uh so and then so i've had that video for like five or six days and i tried to upload it like three times so finally but then there was copyright problems so finally i went back and said just take the music off i'll put my own music on so i did that and then this morning I finally so it was from 12 days ago is when I shot it but I finally uploaded the our first morning in China and that's when we met uh, Bing Bing and Evan so we were in the same hotel when on our first morning in China oh you just watched the video did you like it I mean was it okay <laughs> if it was, just say it was even if it wasn't because <laughs> we're live so if you want to live oh you, oh uh, oh, no, Avenger loved it. Thank you so much. So, um, yeah, I mean, I read uh, every once in a while, you know, because I read all Jane Ari's comments the first day or two, and then I read the comments on this, and I and I miss some of the things that you're typing live, so I go back and look at all that. Oh, uh, Sister Reason, Sister Reason, why did you just let him go? Hit the money. I don't actually, I've never finished the lyrics for that. But, uh, um... Uh, I'm glad that you like that. I talked to Marty while I chatted with him. He's 12 hour difference. He, he's my uh, musical director and he's the, he's a producer. He's my, you know, we're co-producers and he's also produced some stuff of us together, Dan H. Band stuff. And he was one of the producers on the Flowers with Ari Tang Band that I'm in with, with Ari. <laughs> Oh, uh, and my arm is getting better every day, but it's kind of disappointing. Oh, someone asked, how's your arm? Um, uh, please press like video. Oh, I think he's encouraging people to say, hey, give him some likes because it does really encourage me. Wow, 170, that's great. And this is earlier than I normally do. 
<laughs> your video for a newbie, it's good. Okay, I've been making videos for, <laughs> for like 30 years. No, 40 years. Oh my. <laughs> oh, oh, they were playing the Ancient Man songs all day. Chicago. Wow, very cool. Yeah, I think, by the way, most of my stuff, um, Obaba is on international platforms in the world, and I'm, I'm going to start to release more stuff. But right now, the only place, well, there's, I think there's a bootleg company in, uh, in China that has actually put up um, some of my songs from Bandcamp. <laughs> so they're older recordings. I haven't been on Bandcamp for a long time. Yeah, can you take Megan with you live? Oh, okay, so they're done with me. We want Megan. Hi, Australia. So glad that you're here. We want Megan. Okay. And I told her she can bring her drink. Okay, I'm going to knock on. I told her when I knock on the window, come on out. Do I have time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did I just show you my belly accidentally? Yesterday, I was wearing a short sleeve shirt in my collar kept coming over my shoulder and then I looked at it and I thought oh I'm too sexy so because I want to keep this you know family rated but so sorry uh, that I was a little bit too sexy yesterday we want Megan okay I think she's getting ready oh okay and we have a, a special little guest star and when I say little you'll know and I think he came to say hi to my friends and let's see if you can see him five four three two one my little buddy <laughs> oh he likes to swing with his daddy okay megan's coming so i've got to rearrange this a little bit okay so megan if you want are you you want to sit here why don't you sit here with me and i might and let's i just have oh yeah go ahead and sit down because then i have to arrange it Oh, there she is. Everyone, I was doing, I thought I was doing a great job talking to my internet friends, but then they all started saying, we want Megan, we want Megan. <laughs> so, <laughs> and little Sean Opus was back on swinging, so. <laughs> I'm, I think this is going to be our cover. But anyway, I'm so happy to have Megan here, and I'll, I'm going to interview her a little bit. She is our, so, hey, Jay. Hey, hey, Laudofu. <laughs> Laudofu. Okay, before I start with Megan, I told uh, last night, after we eat, usually I'll, I'll take uh, Laudofu around a little bit. So I took him, and it was pretty warm, but I took him to a little area where there was like five or six grandmas that all had these little one and two-year-old babies. And they, it was the first time I ever heard people say, uh, Laudofu. <laughs> Loud over, so they were all saying loud over. I don't know if they knew that's what I call myself, or if they just said I just look like old tofu. But anyway, uh, but then they were mad at me because he wasn't wearing socks. So, but it was warm, and someone said hi, Jay. Hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna interview Megan. Megan, you have only been here one full day, mm -hmm. so you've been here less than 48 hours. <laughs> what is? And this is your first time in China? Yes. And what is your first impressions of China? I feel like I'm in a dream. It doesn't feel real yet. Yeah. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling? Are you tired? Have you have you experienced any jet lag yet? Not really. No. No. I've been exercising a little bit, so I think that helps. I don't know that much about exercising. Okay, and then uh, you've had, you ate supper the first night at the hotel, mm -hmm. dinner I mean, and then you had breakfast yesterday morning. Was it the same breakfast yeah. as you just had now? Mm -hmm. And then we, did you eat lunch yesterday? Oh, see, these are, Jay said he ate those every morning. It's kind of like a, they're good. It's like, yeah, they're very good. It's all, like a, like a Chinese donut a little bit. Mm. But, um, uh, and then you had, what'd you have for lunch yesterday? I don't think I saw you for lunch, did I? I don't remember. <laughs> it's really it's hard. It's all a blur. It really is. Everything kind of blends together. And if you have a memory of something you did, you don't remember when you did it. Was that this, yeah. was that like t today? Was it yesterday? It's hard to remember. Yeah, the first day I got here, I think we got in at like seven o'clock. At night? Yeah. Yeah. And it just all blended together. Yeah, and then I think, 
and then you got picked up at the uh, airport, and then was it a four-hour drive or a two-hour drive? To it was here? three, but I think it was a little longer because we made a few stops. Oh, you made a few stops. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and now I know something that uh, they asked me. I kind of told them. Actually, you tell the story how you met Jane Ari. I told them it was in a coffee oh. shop, but I don't remember if you worked there or if you're just, mm. just. So Megan, here's Megan telling the story of how she met Jane Ari. So I was working at a small coffee shop. Okay, you were working. There weren't there weren't many people in it, so for once I played the music I actually like, <laughs> which was just a bunch of Asian like it was a mixture of Chinese, Korean, Japanese coffee shop music, <laughs> and Ari and Jay came in. They were the only customers sitting down, and I'm usually nervous to play my music in America because not many Americans listen oh, to that kind. So, oh, so, so it's it kind of Asian music. Yeah, it makes me nervous to play yeah. what I like. Yeah. And um, next thing I know, I saw Ari holding up her phone. She was trying to figure out what music I was playing. <gasps> yeah. And I noticed her and I'm like, uh oh, this is going to be weird. <laughs> and then she, she looked at me and she's like, oh, is this Korean music? And I said, oh, no, it's Japanese. And that started a whole conversation. <laughs> so, about, how, how did you find Asian music? How did you start to like that from the United States? They don't play it on the radio. Uh, I had Chinese a Chinese friend introduce oh, me to it. Okay. There was one day, because we um, were classmates in ballet, and she ho held up her phone to me, and she's like, Megan, you need to see this. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's so cool. So it just kind of spiraled. Yeah. Well, I remember them even telling me, because I talked to them on the phone, they said that he met a really cool girl in uh, oh. Charleston, you know, at, at a coffee shop yeah, at Charleston. It was Charleston. their last day, too. Is it Charleston, North Carolina, right? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. Mm. And that was their last day there. Yeah. So they, you guys had a good enough connection that they, what was the mm -hmm. next time you saw them was when they invited you to Kansas City? Well, over the summer, we tried staying in contact. So it was funny. I was trying to figure out what language to learn yeah. because... I've always wanted to learn Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, and I was always conflicted right. as to which one to learn. Because you pretty much have to commit to one. Yeah, 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 and I tried learning a little bit of Korean over a year, and I learned the alphabet, different things, but it just wasn't sticking as much. Right, right. So I really wanted to learn Chinese, but I was too scared to. Okay. With how hard it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh. Chinese kanji oh. is not for you, it's, it's <laughs> Megan's. Oh, thank you. Here, but Megan, let me show it to them. Jay just brought some, Megan some. No, that's her food. I didn't brought it. He's well, you brought it. No, he didn't he's make it. My food. No, no, that's her food. <laughs> thank you. We just don't want it as a cold, so oh. mom said, let me bring to you. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Um, you can eat while you're talking. Mm, mm. <laughs> we do that all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> um, wait, what was I talking you're, about? Uh, something about, that's oh, how yeah, you met the them language. and you had a, oh, the language, oh, that's yeah. right. Then, so when I was trying to figure it out, the next day I got a text from Ari saying, oh, we're doing, I'm signing up for a beginner Chinese conversational course. Would you be interested? And I'm like, Okay. Yeah. I was I was really scared because I'm like I don't know much at all. So I signed up for it and we stayed in contact through yeah. that. Yeah. And just different things. Yeah. So. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. So you guys took a, a intro Chinese class together, mm -hmm. and then what was the next time that you saw them? Was that when they, when when you came to Kansas City? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in person. So we stayed in contact for about half a year. Yeah. And then in person was when I flew to Kansas City. And didn't you? Uh, you came with your dad, or no, he was originally scheduled to come, mm -hmm. and then they, she had like ballet tickets or something for a yeah, play? Yeah, yeah, we were going to go see a ballet together. And then he wasn't able to come, is that what happened? Yeah, he broke his arm the week before. The, uh, <laughs> sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here, you can take a bite and I'll quick oh, talk okay. for a sec. So, uh, so then, now that I'm piecing everything together, I remember when she came and then... She was, uh, she had already bought, her, and her, they had already bought two tickets, I think, for the mm -hmm. ballet, because her and her dad were going to come um, to the Kansas City Ballet, and we, uh, and we had, we have a ballet company, right? Mm -hmm. Like New York City does, but I'm sure it's not, I'm sure that's the big time. Yeah. But we have a pretty big uh, city. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, so, someone uh, earlier asked, the wedding is still on for the 21st, and that's the only thing that we do that's set in stone. 
Oh. That date's not changing. I told you there might be a live stream with the shoe company on the 19th, but that has been changed. Everything is, is going so crazy. Every, and, I, and Megan already learned this, even so she has only been here about 40, or less than 40 hours. But it's things change every hour, sometimes every minute. Mm. Our, our plans change. So we're all pretty flexible, so it's cool. And everything's great. And when you're in a dream, like you feel, it doesn't really matter what the plan is. Yeah. You just, when you're dreaming, you just do the next thing. Everything's fun for me so far. <laughs> just meeting people, talking to people. We keep taking pictures of every little thing. Yeah. We're such tourists. I'm like, ooh, look at that. Ooh, look I at know. That. Honestly, some people, I did, a, I did a little video where I just walk around. Because to me, it's super interesting. Like yeah. Jay makes these really great content video where he, there's like a theme and he edits it and it, you know, and it moves along. Me, I'm just walking around going, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> With my little camera. <laughs> um, let's see, so, okay. So she had two tickets to the Kansas City Ballet. Uh, oh, I'm glad you love our live stream. That's so cool. Oh, there's like 300 people from around the world that are watching you right now. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> And then after uh, the live stream, there's like anywhere from 15 to, to 50,000 people that have been watching it later. Mm. So um, let me finish the ballet story because I have another question that I, I have prepared for you. Uh, so they came, they had two tickets and your dad couldn't make it. So then I think you gave your ticket to Lynette, right? Mm -hmm. my, my wife, Lynette. Yeah. Oh, it was so much fun did with you have her. Fun? Yeah, yeah. So did did Ari go too, or just you and Lynette? Yeah, Ari, Jay, oh, Jay Lynette, went too. And I, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I tried warning him about the tights. I don't think he loved the ballet as much as you and Ari. I know Lynette came home and she loved yeah. it. That was her first ballet she's ever been to. Oh yeah. Did yeah. you know that? <laughs> I feel like she mentioned it to me, but that trip was a blur too. Yes, and, and that's so good. And I remember we ate at this. Uh, are you able oh. to read the co comments? Yeah. Hi, okay, oh. hi. And then one trick that I'm trying to learn is if you see something that says, hi, Megan, you can say, oh, oh my, it's Marty. Is Marty here? But anyway, uh, it says, Dan, this is Marty. Oh, Avenger Darkness is Marty? Okay. He's my best friend and he's oh. in Nashville. He's been my keyboard player for like 35 years or something. Oh, that's so And uh, he's actually been my, I've had a lot of bass players and a, f a few different drummers, but he's been the only musician that's, all, I've oh. only ever had one keyboard player. So Dark Agenda Avenger is Marty. Okay, but anyway, anytime you read something, and I oh. forgot to do it right there, you can go ahead and say like when someone says, hi, Megan, you can say, oh, someone says, hi, oh. Megan, hi. Is it Megan Fox? No, yes. No. I think you're a fox. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's Although my I, name I, is very similar hi to Hi, Megan. I did make her laugh, Aww. though. That's what I'm going for. Wayne says hi. Aww. Well, actually, so now I think we kind of finished the ballet story. Lynette loved it. Mm. And then we, oh, I was going to quick say we went out. <laughs> we went out and eat and ate. And I, I had my, those little like Chinese burgers oh, or something. Yeah, Bowser. How do you know the name of that? Because I love them so much. <laughs> Me too. I think we were talking oh. about it. I think we maybe were sitting together and going, this is so good. But anyway, so now on to my next topic. Love from Nanjing for Megan. Oh, oh Marty goes, oh. <laughs> now Marty jumped in and said, I'm not Dark Avenger. <laughs> Oh, no. So the internet, it's just so weird because I, yeah. I have it open to anyone because I just want to promote people getting to know each other better and mm. countries getting to know each other. And I really want more Americans to come to China yeah. to get Me to know too. the people, you know, so mm -hmm. I want to promote tourism. Uh, I'm not getting paid by anyone to promote tourism. I just want to because I think the more that our countries know each other, the safer we'll be. <laughs> I hope so, too. So, um, and I, there are already a lot of the people from China that come to America, but I, I want even more, so. Mm. Um, but I for sure want more Americans to come here to visit so that they understand. So oh, now nice. on to, oh, oh nice. Megan is so pretty, it's nice to see Megan. It oh, is, that's so nice. I, I knew when I had her on that I would uh, get more views. Because <laughs> they're used no, to my beauty, no. but, the, but my beauty is not equal to your beauty. So that's why. <laughs> That's the secret behind my success Aww. is work with, although that is actual a thing that I did. When I, uh, when I was trying to be successful in business and in music, 
I always wanted to work with the best people in their field. So mm -hmm. you know, if I had a graphic designer, I found the best graphic designer I could, you know, work with. And and then also with musicians, I always tried to find musicians to work with that were even better than me. I didn't always succeed, but I always tried to work with people that were better than mm. me. So now I have someone here that's hard to believe, but yes, she is more beautiful than me. <laughs> but thank you. You're making my face turn red. Uh -oh. oh, good. Uh, it's not the kanji that's making your face turn red, it's her. <laughs> Uh, make sure to put Megan, Megan on the picture. Oh yeah, like they're telling me now to use you. Uh, this a photo of us probably. I'll find a good one uh, on our thumbnail. <laughs> so they're, I love it how they're telling me. Do you have a boyfriend? They want to know. Someone said no. you have a boyfriend. Oh. No. Oh well. <laughs> I love your music vibe. Thank you so much. <laughs> um. I'm just reading comments right now. I do have another question for you. Okay, so the comments stop for a second. So, uh, how did I meet Marty? I met him, who asked this, Avenger Darkness. I'm not gonna tell you Avenger Darkness because you pretended to be Marty. <laughs> but anyway, so, <laughs> um, Megan teaches Chinese, teaches English to Chinese students. I think you have some children, some adults. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. Oh wait. How did it start? Uh, it started through Ari and Jay. They asked if I'd be interested yeah. in just having conversations with Chinese students. Yeah. And I was a little nervous, but I was open to it. And it's taken me a while to figure out what works best. Yeah. But I've noticed doing stories, like reading, finding oh, a story wow. that my students like. Yeah. Like one of my little students loves Harry Potter. Oh, how old is he? She's, she. I think, 11 turning 12 this wow, year. Wow, okay. So she's pretty that, young. I think that's the right age for, yeah. for Harry Potter. And she has, she even has like a translation. So if oh, okay. we have a hard word or anything, right. we're able to talk through it. And it's, because that's how I learned more yeah. English growing up. And that's how I learned to love. So does she read it to you? Oh, or we how read does that together. Work? So read... we go back and forth. We read a little bit, and if she has a question about a new word, yeah. then we discuss it, and she's able to understand through that. And it teaches her to learn words from the context. So from a sentence, she's able to figure out what a word means. Okay. That's what my mom taught yes, me, Yes, that's how I, I kind of learned. If I mm. saw a word that I didn't know, I yeah. kind of tried to figure out what it meant just from where it was yeah. in a sentence. So. And I did that too for for about a few months. Where we, and we just had actually it was a married couple in California yeah. that were Chinese, and the husband didn't speak; he spoke yeah. zero English. And then the wife maybe spoke a little bit, but it was just too hard for me because I couldn't even say I couldn't tell them anything. Mm. Um, like okay, now we're going to learn this. So how do you communicate? like what your plan is or how do you even say what this word means is how do you do that if you don't speak mm. her language i haven't had too many beginner beginner students okay but we also use translations and a lot of pictures so. okay so you will so so you allow them because i heard mm. that sometimes you're only allowed to use the language you're learning oh yeah normally, but it it's, sound normally it's all in english so i use a lot of pictures i'll make like a whole powerpoint spreadsheet um and have images but if you have to them. communicate something do you allow her to read a translation into chinese just so that you, mm. she'll understand what you're saying a few students do that but not too many uh -huh. need it so, i haven't had to do that too often some of my adult learners will do that but a lot of the kids pick it up just from talking okay mm. and then so how many students do you have now Right now, I was trying to narrow it down, so I only have three students, okay. but at one time, I think I had like 10 in a week. That's a lot. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that was making me very tired, but before the trip, I tried getting, um, like, slowly, yeah. making my schedule less, yeah. so it wouldn't be too much. Okay, I'm going to ask you this, because I think she's tiny. I think, like, two or three of you could fit in me, <laughs> in my body weight. But uh, how? So I won't ask you how much you weigh. But how tall are you? Uh, five one. Wow. Okay, that is tiny. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you look at me, I'm a foot and a half taller than you. That'd be if I looked at someone that was eight foot tall. When I look at people that are six inches taller than me, I just go, "You are a monster." 
you are a giant, so you must feel that way all the time, or is that just normal? Normally, for you? I don't notice it. I have a coworker who's really tall, and I never realized how much taller until he <laughs> held up his phone and he's like, I want to see what it's like. <laughs> and so we exchanged, and I looked at him like, no, that's not real. Uh, I feel like he is faking it. So we're sitting down right now, and and her head is here. I mean, my head is here because I'm a totally hunched over. <laughs> but that's just sitting down. But uh, <clears throat> uh, this is so much fun. So you have those students, and then, so you're not accepting any new students now? Or you... I probably will when I get back to them. Oh, that's right. So what did you... Tell how you're going to be here for three weeks, I think. Or, mm -hmm. So what are the are the? Did you just say to your students, "Hey, I'm going to have to take a break for three yeah. weeks"? But when you go back, you you would maybe be willing to pick up more students. Yeah, I'm okay. thinking about it. I probably will, but I'm also looking to move by oh, the end okay. of summer. Do you know where you're going to move? Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Okay. I'm looking to go there. How far away is that from Charleston? About three hours. It's a really beautiful city, though. I've heard of it. I haven't been there. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so that's mm. my prepared stuff. And do you guys have any questions for Megan or for me? It takes about, I think, mm. 10 seconds or 15 seconds from me to communicate something until someone writes something. Mm. Uh, when are you headed back to the United States? Mm. He said he'd like to meet you, but I'm, I'm going to be her dad. Well, she's here, and I'm not no. going to let her meet boys. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. No. I'm not going to stop her, but yeah, I'll be your, I'll be your dad while you're here, if that's okay. Yeah. Or your, okay. I'll, I'll accept it. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I've got to protect her. No boyfriends. Uh, mm -hmm. Willing student from London. Single. Yeah, you oh, can wow. find a lot of. My guess is you could get a ton of students if you wanted. Um, oh, from but, Hong Kong. Yeah. What is the difference between Lao Zongren and the new name? People call you. The difference is Lao Zongren means my uh, old father-in-law. Oh. And so when, I don't know if I ever told you the story how I got mm -hmm. that name. So when Jay and Ari started doing videos, well, I actually, I helped them start their YouTube. So I would upload all the videos because I had been doing that for a few years on my own stuff. So I helped them do that. So I wanted to learn, you know, feedback is very important for me. And then I could read their comments. So one time I did, I think they did a video where they showed a video of me when I was young and do, singing a song. And then in all the comments, and I, and I did a couple, anyway, in all the comments they said, you should check out the music of Lao Zongren. And so um, I thought they were talking to me because I said, hey, everyone, you know, this is uh, Jay's dad. This is Dan H here. I'm, you know, Jay's father-in-law. So then people were saying, you, just, you need to check out the, the music of Lao Zongren. So I thought Lao Zongren was an artist. So mm -hmm. I was searching for about, I'd say a good half hour, uh, everywhere on the internet, trying to find the artist, Lao Zongren, that everyone was saying I should listen to. Mm -hmm. And then I, I finally just went to a translator app and I typed in Lao Zongren and it said, my old man. And I realized, I'm Lao Zongren. <laughs> but, but, so then when I came to China, uh, people were afraid to call me La Zangren because it means my father-in-law. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think I think Jay or someone came up with a because Shao Dofu is little tofu, and and they said, well, you're Lao Dofu. You're I'm old tofu, and so now, now people aren't afraid to call me yeah, Lao like Dofu. That one yeah, more. yeah. So and then so a lot of people said that mm -hmm. Shao Dofu looks like me. So it's kind of cool. It's like, and we're, we're buddies. We hang out. You know, I take them, I watch them a lot um, in the mm -hmm. morning and, and sometimes after we eat. Well, you saw that last night. Yeah. So we have some good times together. And I film those times sometimes when we're walking around in the cities and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we're buddies. So it's, it's little tofu, old tofu. As long as they don't call me stinky tofu. Yeah. No stinky tofu. No stinky tofu. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, sometimes, but I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask uh oh now that you're my daughter you might have to you might find out but <laughs> I, i'll try to keep that from happening you know what it's like in a family you know mm -hmm. but anyway even ever since i met megan she feels like family mm -hmm. okay i might have missed a couple of questions here oh. yeah resemblance they say that i look like a little shell dofu oh. la says hi oh, loud dofu is great thank you 
someone asked earlier my favorite color. My favorite color is blue, blue and green. Is it same? Aqua blue, which is blue and green. And then I always love my favorite color to wear is blue. This is kind of a dark blue. Mm. And then and then black. Hi. Oh, someone said hi, Megan. Oh. Isn't that but isn't that fun? This feels so weird. I don't use technology too much. <laughs> We're wearing blue and green. Yes, we are. Okay. I'm super tofu. Oh, I like that. What's mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I like this. What's uh what's super in Chinese? So what would be the English letters mm -hmm. of super tofu? Like, like Lao mm -hmm. means old. Mm -hmm. I wonder what what super would it be I don't know. Mm -hmm. Super tofu, yeah, but in in I wanna like Lao means old. What's the Almighty. word? <laughs> Almighty. Okay, I'll let you guys run with it because I can read that. Someone will probably write it in the comments. Okay. Super tofu. No, I kind of like I kind of like Lao tofu. Lao tofu. Mm -hmm. Lao tofu rolls oh, off the tongue. Yeah. Lao tofu. Oh chai. Oh chai ji. Yeah, that's too hard. Chao ji. Chao ji tofu. Chao ji. That's too hard. I like Lao tofu. <laughs> Oh. Is your oh. co food cold now? A little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the sacrifices okay. that you make for my friends. Thank I've been you. getting so full quickly here. There's so much food. It's really good, but I keep getting full. We were talking about that I, last night at supper. Mm. It's like, I don't feel I'm eating a ton, no. but I feel fuller yeah. in, with smaller it's portions. It's like satisfying. Yeah, it's why satisfying. is it? satisfying. And, and I think... I have felt, felt that the food here is healthier. Mm. There's something about it. They maybe don't use as many pesticides yeah. or chemicals, but mm. almost everything has tasted better here. Funny tofu. That one's captain. <laughs> did, it, did you catch any other questions that they asked you before it scrolled when I was talking? Oh, when I was leaving? I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, when, when you're leaving, I think it's the, three weeks. Is yeah, it? three weeks. The first week of May, but I keep forgetting what day. Yeah, that happens. Well, I was going to say that happens in China. <laughs> but I once said Chinese don't have calendars. No, they do. Yeah. <laughs> but I never Aww. find, I can't, I never know what day it is. Mm. I blame the Chinese. <laughs> I don't. <gasps> Megan is like a princess. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> My little princess. <laughs> she has a dizzy vibe. She does. She My, does. My dream was to work there, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she would have been a I perfect Disney princess. So well, I wanted you to work like in the tea Disney. shop. That was my dream. They it, had a little, a little um, afternoon tea in one of the hotels, but they closed it down, and they haven't had it since. She wanted to work in a tea shop. If they saw her in like two minutes or one minute in 10 seconds, they would say, no, she's a Disney princess. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, and you're not too far from Florida, but you could have done that. Mm, not anymore. A lot of those girls, I guess, are like 16 and 17, but you mm. still, we were in the car the other day. <laughs> they don't use a calendar. Mm. <laughs> There's a calendar app <laughs> and a phone. Well. Yeah, but you have to know how to open it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> if I have a free half hour, I'll figure out how to open my oh, calendar. No. Do you use technology a lot? Not very much. Yeah. My dad works in IT and I tried so much to get into it. I tried programming, different things. I couldn't focus. I get tired of sitting. <laughs> I, I, me too. Mm. That's why I like to lay down. Yeah. <laughs> but now old tofu eat, eat tofu. I do. I mm. actually started to like it now. Because it's really, the tofu itself doesn't have a huge flavor. It's more about the seasoning and the spices. Yeah. And I love... Oh, do you have a favorite singer or a band? Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Finish, finish it. Because this is... Oh. That's what's nice. We don't have to rush everything. Yeah. Jay um, had to translate it for me. There was a group that I kept listening to. I liked most of their songs. And I, but I didn't know what they were called because it was in the characters and I couldn't yes, translate yes. it. But it's Accuse Five. I like that group. Accuse? It's called Accuse Five. I don't like that name. <gasps> I don't either. It was very weird. Let's see. 
let's close this. Okay, yeah. my battery's running out, so I you, I always keep it less than an hour. Oh. So, and then I sing a song for like a minute or two at the end. <gasps> Do you sing? Yes, I'm. A, every, so far, every person that's on live stream sings. Okay, no. what song do you want to sing? You can just sing like a, a verse and a chorus or a chorus or oh, you can be I'm, really I'm, short. I'm a closeted singer. I, I sing I sing in the sing alone. Do you guys want me to see if I can get her to sing? Oh no. <laughs> and then also you have to remember, I want you to feel comfortable enough to sing because Ross sang yesterday and he's not like Wait, a professional singer. Yes. And no, I mean, hardly any people that I know are professional singers other than Ari. If she was here, she would just mm -hmm. be perfect pitch. But so, I so, know, like, I'll show you, like, even let's just pretend, because I don't know if you can sing. Let's just, I'm going to assume you're a really bad singer. She, okay. Is Megan okay. single? Yes, she is. But I'm, I'm going to be her Chinese daddy and no boyfriends on this trip. So, uh, okay. So, like, you can do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Like, like, what's a song that, you know? Oh. I mean, like, what's a, what's a, do you know, hit me, baby? No. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> What's a song? Just name a song. You don't have to sing it right now, but what's a song that I would know that you know? Uh, do you know? The Beatles? The Beatles. Okay. Um, okay, so he, uh, he, I'm just going to sing you a bad singer. Much, no, no, so. you don't have to sing that one. Okay, you can choose okay. a different one, but let's just, I just, you just go like, Yesterday, I'm trouble people I Just do that. Okay, you ready? See, are you that? Are you better than what I just did? Maybe a little bit. Okay, so that's to make you feel comfortable that you can't sing as bad as I just did, and I did it, and I'm a professional, so you can try. Just sing a little song. Yes. I'm too nervous too. Okay, us. It's, 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 okay, one, two, three, four. Yesterday. Oh, now I'm laughing too much. You can't sing when you're laughing. No. I do, but she, uh, that was oh. nice. Okay, so now we'll get all mm. peaceful and calm. Mm. Mm. Uh, so I'll sing it and then you sing, okay? Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I, I believe in yesterday. Okay, that's all we can sing because I also have copyright infringement. But <laughs> you have a really cool voice. No, yeah, you it's have too, a little. It's too soft. No, you have a little tight vibrato. No. I know, but like, is it Billy Eilish mm. or Billy Idol has a real soft, sweet voice? Yeah, Billy Idol has a real sweet, soft voice, and you kind of sound like her. But it's no. But anyway, <laughs> you can sing real. Soft. But you have you have a little I think tremolo I sound too at the much end. Like a chipmunk. <laughs> uh, anyway, I I think well you're gonna sing mm. someday. Do you want to have children ever or not? I would like to. Okay, so if you if you ever had a baby, do you think you'd ever sing to your baby? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So how would you sing mm. it? Hush, mm. little baby, don't you cry. This is no copyright on this song. Mom, oh. let's see. One, yeah, most two, of the ones three. I know are Disney too. You don't know that Hush Little Baby? Okay. Not too much. What about? My family didn't really sing. Oh, do you or know have this song? Music. A B C D. <laughs> yeah. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. <laughs> now I know. My A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> <laughs> Megan has left the building. No. Kids time. <laughs> these guys, these oh, guys no. are all trying to come oh, up no. with new for new names for me. That's kind of fun. Is the design on Megan's clothes? Oh, now they know you well enough. They're calling you Meg. Oh, that's sweet. Is the design on Meg's clothes, it, it's sheep. If she teaches in a kindergarten, everyone will swarm to sign up for your class. <laughs> I don't think kindergartners sign up for their own class. <laughs> 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 but she does teach young, young people on the internet. She teaches them English. Yeah, we're having fun. How old are you? Is that okay to ask? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm 23, turning 24. 
Well, isn't uh, every isn't every twenty three year old turning twenty four? Yep. I mean, technically, you're you'll also be turning forty. I remind myself I'm turning twenty four because I remember my age by the year I was born, which is two thousand. However, it's towards the end of two thousand, okay. so it makes it a little harder. You know, I wish I had that because I'm usually when I guess my age, I'm usually mm -hmm. off by a year. But I don't remember. I think it's because before my birthday's coming up, I think, okay, I'll be this age. And then when my birthday comes, I think I'm a year older. Mm. So uh, it's, I wish I had your system of, you're born in 2000, so you're whatever age yeah. of the year is. That's pretty good. It's very helpful. Why do you look so young? I will say this. Do you, did you see that black and white photo? In the car, they have like, this yeah. car that we're driving is so cool. But it has mm. in the... Uh, it has a big screen and it has, it's a, like a night vision type thing where it's basically just black and white night vision. You guys have seen those videos. And so you can see Megan in the back and she was sitting with Ari and Ari is a lot taller than you. So, and they were kind of like fighting oh, or something in the back seat. So it no. came on that black screen. Did you see it? I saw it. She looked if you like move she your would. Hands, yeah, and she, if you move oh, your hands at all. There's a motion sensor yeah. on the. So that if a parent is driving and someone's moving the back seat, it'll come on and show them what they're doing. But anyway, so her and I were kind of like, I don't know what you were doing, like just playing around. And she looked like she was five years old. <laughs> so I think, so yes, yeah, she oh, does no. look young. I, but I don't think it's just because you're tiny. I mm. think it's, are, are you healthy at all? Do you eat healthy foods? Do yeah. You, you take care of mm -hmm. your, it's, it's the do you smoke a lot? Too. No. Are you a pretty, pretty heavy drinker? No. Okay. No. <laughs> and do you, you I, eat a I, lot of potato chips? Nope. I blame the coffee. I blame it on the coffee that I drank really young. Do you, do you, it's a wives' tale that you'll stay short if you drink coffee young. I heard that when I, I was young. I used to eat the beans, too. Did you drink a lot of milk when you were young? I don't remember. Because I don't think so. I drank milk all the time, and the Dutch mm -hmm. people, it, it, oh, well, it's a statistic, but the, on average, the Dutch men are t the tallest men per capita in well, the I world. I know that. And I, and it, having been to Holland so many mm -hmm. times, I, they eat dairy nonstop from morning till night. The cheese is like, they're, like if we'd eat a, a hamburger, they would eat a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. I mean, a cheese, you know, cheese on their bread in the morning. and the, So they eat, and they drink eat milk and yogurt so i think it's the dare the amount of dairy yeah, consumption yeah i didn't like it very as much growing up like cheese i didn't eat cheese or mayo if there was ever mac and cheese yeah. i'd have just plain with like butter and salt i think you yeah, might have a chinese stomach because jay he, he never mm. didn't like cheese at all he's i think he's starting to a little bit but he's not a dairy person yeah mm. Let's go Dutch. Oh. Holland is really a cool country, mm. but they eat a ton of cheese. And then my background is, is some Dutch in there. Mm. And I, I drink a ton of milk. My heart is oh. melting. Oh, oh because so of her nice. smile. Oh, oh, you know, I wonder if we should do a pose like for the, okay. Uh, oh. Lean your head oh. in. I don't okay, know that, where to look. I know, but that <laughs> might, I might be able to use that as our thumbnail. Okay, oh. I only have a couple more minutes to oh. sing our last song. And then if you, you won't know the song. Well, mm. you might because it's been, an, it's the one that our, we sang at our, no, you weren't at their wedding. Mm. So you don't really know any of my songs. So I could sing any. What's a good song? <gasps> okay, I got a song. Megan's, okay, Megan's. Megan's school has lots of windows. She looks through them all the time. And Megan's church has lots of windows. She looks through them all the time. Megan's got a lots of hair and wears the clothes that rock stars wear and she's got boys around her all the time and she don't mind mm -hmm. oh, she's doing fine 
Uh, uh. And Megan's mom has lots of boyfriends. She sees through them all the time. <laughs> and Megan's mom has lots of worries. She sees through them all the time. <laughs> and Megan's got a lot of hair and wears the clothes that Roxas wear. And she's got boys around her all the time. And she don't mind. <laughs> That girl is fine. That girl is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like that, that song? That was so fun. Okay. Thank you. It's my uh, song called Megan. <laughs> Soon to be released. It's not been released anywhere ever, so. <laughs> it takes me time to record. I'm going to try to stay a few extra couple extra weeks if I can in China and I'd like to record find a studio and record a couple songs I've written more songs here than I have in the last four years five years oh wow yeah, I've already written like five or six songs here it's inspiration yeah it really it is mm. it is inspirational here isn't it yeah. look how beautiful this have you heard this many birds in cities in no, America I love the roosters I love waking up to oh, the roosters. that is so cool but mm. even in the big cities like skyscrapers everywhere you can hear birds like this yeah. all the time. Okay, hey guys, uh, I love you so much. Thank yeah. you for tuning in and joining me and Megan at, on this live stream. And uh, have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.